Hey Chris, it's Sol. You don't know me, you don't remember me, but as a fan I want to congratulate you on your retirement. There aren't a whole lot of folks in this industry that can quit on their own terms and on such a high note such as yourself. However, there's a little something that I'm mad about regarding you. I'm going to tell you your short story. It was 2009, like 7 years ago, when me and my boys, we went down to BlizzCon all together for the first time. Me and my boys and my wife, well, my girlfriend at the time. We didn't know what to expect, we didn't know what was going to be announced, but being there was one of the highlights of the year, and that's why since then we've been going to BlizzCon together pretty much every time that it's been going. 2009 was especially cool because we got a free upgrade on our rental on the way down. You know, and we got to enjoy ourselves being a little gangster like that, that's cool. So we were inside and it was past opening ceremony and we we're just kind of walking the floor trying to trying to get some free goodies and swag and what have you. When, you, when we happened to see you on the floor, I think you were like taking pictures with someone or signing an autograph or you know something like that. So my friends and my girlfriend, they're like, oh, go ahead and take a picture, dude. Just go ahead and, uh, and say what's up. So I was like, all right. But at the same time, I was like hella nervous. I'm like, okay, what am I going to say to him? Should I make a request? Should I ask for gas money? Should I ask for a job? I don't know. So me and my boys, we come up and we're like, hey, Chris, can we, uh, can we take a picture with you? And of course, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on around, guys. And I think it was my girl that was taking the picture. And then you turned to us and said, hey, make gang signs. And we were like, gang signs, what? But we don't have time, so I'm okay, I'll just throw up whatever, and you know, here we go. It was definitely not my most flattering moment, but it was cool. I mean, dude, Chris Metzen, I got a picture with him. That's, that's immortalizing. So when we were done, I said, hey, Chris, I gotta ask you something. I gotta make a request. And you said, yeah, what's up? I said, hey, you know, last year in our goodie bag, we got the Big Blizzard Bear, a really awesome, uh, a really awesome mount. And I love it. I still use it today even. And I told them, hey, you got to give a little bit more love to your fans and you got to take this bear and you got to put rockets on it. You got to make it a rocket bear, make it fly. And that would be that would be freaking awesome. So you nodded and you did that whole thing with the beard thing. And you said, hey, you know what? I'll get to work on it. And I thought to myself, hey, that's that's all I asked for. I just wanted to hear I just wanted him to hear me out and cool. But seven years passed and I have no rocket bear. It's been like kind of a running joke. I'm like, hey, maybe I'll go up to the QA one BlizzCon and I'll be like, hey, Chris, where's my rocket bear? Just so I can get you in a gotcha moment, you know, kind of an awkward moment, and the audience will be like, dude, what's this guy doing here? Why is he asking stupid ass questions? And I wanted to do it, but I didn't, because the line was too long. So after seven years, I guess, uh, I guess you forgot about it. I guess you don't care. Wow. That's the acronym for World of Warcraft. But it's cool. I mean, ever since then, you've come on to uh, further your franchises and create the Overwatch franchise. And meanwhile, uh, I was a Best Buy employee and now I am a YouTube creator employee person waiting for a flying bear to make me happy. Thanks for nothing, Metzen. Ah, just playing. Thanks for everything, Chris. Loktar, and stay breezy.